I want to share with you some things that uh, I might have hinted at in the past, but I've kind of kind of been using it a lot lately, so I wanted to um, see what you guys thought. We run into the situation where we're on larger speakers and our low end and our bass and kicks just sound massive. And then we go to smaller speakers and the bass disappears, you can't hear it. So I'm going to give you a technique that I use and show you some of the concepts behind it. Think of it this way, what I'm trying to do is when you hear the big speakers, you don't hear the information we're adding that you can hear on the little speakers. When we're listening to the little speakers, we don't hear the bass information that's hiding the little speaker information. So think of, um, think of when you were a kid, you're playing hide and seek and you're hiding behind a cardboard box. Well, you can't be seen, but when you move the box, all of a sudden you're there. Heck, let me just show you what I'm doing. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? So it, it's a process and it's a little bit of trial and error. The plugin I use a lot is uh, Max Bass from Waves. It's, it's, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Um, it's got a younger son called R Bass, but this gives you an option. See this, this orange line? This is the frequency range that we want to hide behind this frequency range. So let me show you something. Here's without any of this. I sent you a message. This is not boo, my friend. Um, so now, now let's add the frequency that's going to help us. I sent you a message. Did you get it? Or not? It very subtly creeps in. Now, uh, find some little speakers real quick. I'll give you a chance to go get them. Um, now watch this kind of disappear and all of a sudden this frequency pops out. I sent you a message. Did you get it? Or not? I can't be forgotten. Are we finished? For now. Okay, you got that? Now, um, what, I, what I like to do sometimes is I like to take a, um, a low-pass filter and I like this angle right here to be sharp and as vertical as possible. Uh, there's not a lot of places you can find this. It's this one right here on, on UAD. And uh, this gives me a, a, a little color, controls the, 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 the frequencies below which I don't want, but also it adds uh, a bit of a resonant sound. If I, amp if I make this bigger, you can kind of see what's going on at that, at that intersection. And this is beautiful, and then this is this is beautiful too, and these these frequencies help also with the little speakers. All right, so now let's check out what we're doing. Now I'm adding a little sub with this plugin, Low Air. Um, it's a tricky plugin to use. I've just now really kind of figured out how to use it. And then um, this isn't doing anything, so. Do me a favor, repeat that on your smaller speakers and then one, repeat it once again on your larger speakers. So the concept is we're hiding information behind the low end information that when the low end goes away, that new information pops out at you. And, and when you're doing it with a bass, you want it to, um, to be somewhere in, I don't know, 100 range to maybe 250, 300. Now the system works really well on an 808. I'll try my best to show it uh, to you using an 808 real soon, so keep an eye out for that. Multiple, multiple uses. Um, you can hide things behind a vocalist and when they get a little thin in, in the upper range, this, this comes in behind it. So think of some unique ways to, to use this technique. It's not just for bass. Thanks guys for dropping by, much appreciated.